Dr. Sage here. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start learning about all the different organelles inside eukaryotic cells. Of note, examples of eukaryotic cells are things like animal cells and plant cells. I'm not sure why, but for some reason, a lot of people think that plants are not eukaryotic cells, which is incorrect. Plants are eukaryotic cells. An example of a prokaryotic cell is not a plant. It would be like a bacteria. That's an example of a prokaryote. So animals and plants are both eukaryotes. And animal cells and plant cells have a lot of the same organelles. And in fact, the main difference is that plant cells have a few extra things that animal cells don't have. But we're gonna go through each of the organelles one at a time. And to begin with, what we're gonna start discussing is the nucleus. Now, the nucleus is where you store most of your DNA, most of your genes, most of your chromosomes inside your cells. And it's an organelle that's usually the easiest to identify underneath a light microscope. For example, this image here is of a human uh, skin cheek cell and it's been stained with a dye that will stain the nucleus dark blue and the plasma membrane is light blue. So this uh, large circle right here, that's the nucleus. Okay, so it's very easy to identify underneath a light microscope. So this is showing you a figure of a nucleus. Of note, the nucleus would be a sphere. This is showing you a cutaway so you can see like what's inside the nucleus. The nucleus is an organelle, which means it's a membrane bound compartment inside the cell. So the nucleus has a membrane around it. That membrane is called the nuclear envelope. And the nuclear envelope is actually a double phospholipid bilayer. Okay, so this nuclear envelope here is what separates the nucleus okay, from the cytoplasm, the fluid inside the cell. Now, things need to have the ability to enter and exit the nucleus, but the nucleus has this double fossil of a bilayer around it, so this barrier around it. So how can things get into and out of the nucleus? Well, there are things called nuclear pores, and the nuclear pores allow things to enter and exit the nucleus by passing through these nuclear pores. In the nucleus, the DNA is organized into discrete units called chromosomes. I'm sure you've heard about chromosomes before. We're gonna learn more details about chromosomes throughout this course. Each chromosome is made up of DNA molecule with proteins attached to it. So in a eukaryotic cell, the DNA is never naked DNA. I mean, it's never DNA just by itself. It always has proteins stuck on it. And there's a name for that that you might not have heard of before. That's called chromatin. So chromatin is DNA with proteins attached to it. And that's the state you'll find your DNA inside your cells, inside your nucleus, because you're a eukaryote. Okay, so our chromosomes are made out of chromatin, which is DNA plus proteins. Now, if you are looking at the nucleus underneath the microscope, oftentimes you'll find a dark spot inside the nucleus as you're looking underneath the microscope. That's called the nucleolus. So the nucleolus is where you build your ribosomal RNA, which is a component of the ribosome. Okay, so we're gonna talk about the ribosome in a few minutes. Remember, I briefly introduced it as the place where you're gonna build your proteins. Okay, well the ribosome itself is built out of two different types of things. It's built out of proteins and it's built out of ribosomal RNA. So the ribosomal RNA is built inside the nucleolus, which is inside the nucleus. Now, a uh, word of warning, be careful, because there are three terms that sound very similar to each other and they're related to each other, but not the exact same thing. That's nucleoid, nucleus, and nucleolus. So recall nucleoid is the region inside a prokaryotic cell where you find the chromosome. It is not an organelle because it doesn't have a membrane around it. Nucleus is the membrane bound organelle inside eukaryotic cells where you store your chromosomes. Nucleolus is inside the nucleus. Okay, so three terms, nucleoid, nucleus, nucleolus. Be careful because they sound really similar. Okay, make sure you're not mixing them up. Now, the nucleus also has a very distinct shape to it, and there's a lot of organization inside the nucleus. Now, the, what maintains the shape of the nucleus is a set of proteins called the nuclear lamina. Okay, so the nuclear lamina are the proteins that give the nucleus its shape and its organization. Now, I mentioned a minute ago ribosomes. 
So we're talking about the nucleus right now, but we're also going to discuss ribosomes. Now ribosomes are not an organelle because they don't have a membrane around them. That's why not just eukaryotes have ribosomes, prokaryotes also have ribosomes. But recall that ribosomes are the kind of the workbenches where you're going to build your proteins. So since we're talking about the nucleus, we're going to talk about ribosomes as well right now. Why is that? Because the nucleus is where you store your DNA, your genetic information. Your DNA is a code, and what that code is telling you is how to build proteins. Okay, the place where you actually build the proteins, those are the ribosomes. So since we're talking about the nucleus that stores the code to tell you how to build proteins, we're going to briefly talk about ribosomes. Now we're going to learn in more details in a later chapter how ribosomes work. We're not going to go into details in this chapter. So just a brief introduction to ribosomes. DNA stores your genetic information. That DNA is transcribed over into mRNA. Then the mRNA goes to the ribosome. And the ribosome reads the information in the mRNA and uses that information to build your protein or polypeptide. Okay, so the purpose of the ribosome is to build proteins or polypeptides. How that happens, that's like a whole chapter later. So we're not going into the details right now, but that's the purpose of the ribosome. Now the ribosome, as I briefly mentioned earlier, is made out of two types of things. It's made out of ribosomal RNA and it's made out of proteins. Okay, so that's the ribosome. Now the ribosomes carry out protein synthesis in a couple of different locations inside your cells. One place you can find ribosomes building proteins is stuck on the outside of the rough ER. So these red little dots, those are ribosomes. They're stuck on the outside of the rough ER. Now we haven't learned about the rough ER yet. That's going to come in just a minute. Okay, but that's one place where you find ribosomes. Another place where you find ribosomes is just floating around inside the cytosol or cytoplasm. Okay, so that's where you can, those are a couple of the places where you can find ribosomes and they're going to be building protein. So that was your little introduction to the nucleus and ribosomes. The next topic we're going to talk about in relation to the organelles is we're going to discuss the endomembrane system. Okay, so that's what's going to come in the next lecture is the endomembrane system.